Joe. Please continue enjoying your lunches. I thought we'll get started. Uh, welcome back, Michael, David. Good to see you. I think that we started this at uh, Marvelous Market or something like that. Many moons ago. Yeah, many somewhere. moons ago. And the last time I saw you, it was at the museum, and you were looking for your wife. I found her. You did find <laughs> yes. her. That's good. I'm happy yes. to hear that. It's a big place. She was in the it deep throat exhibit or something. Place. Where was she? Were you, were you there that no, night I too? It, it was impossible to. It was possible to be there that night and not see anybody, and yet see everybody. It was, you could lose people easily. Uh, what what have you have you been to the museum at all? Not yet. But you, what did you yeah. think of it? Uh, well. It's fascinating. I'd love to spend like you know extended periods of time yeah. there where I'm not looking for Marianne. Right, it's right. Like, I mean, there's five floors. There's I think there's five, seven. Seven floors. Yeah, yeah. And um, there's a, a supposedly an exhibit where they have one of my notebooks, but I wasn't able to. But find you couldn't it. find it. Yeah, that's the one thing I haven't been able to determine whether Scandal gets its uh, fair place. And uh, you know, but I think it probably takes a no week. wax figure. No, <laughs> no, that's Madame Tussauds. <laughs> no wax figure. But I did give them the notebook where I first wrote down the name Monica Lewinsky. Dash, yes. W H yes. intern. Yes. You know, sort of, yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you remember the day you wrote that down? Well, uh, I mean. Uh, you know, yeah, yes, yeah, I yeah, do. yeah, yeah. I do. I just, well, because it was a moment. <laughs> yeah, well, because it was before you all heard of her. <laughs> right, right. Well, because Judy yeah. Miller, I think, uh, often said she but couldn't remember when she wrote down Valerie Flame. Right. Well, there was, right. a, there was a lot she couldn't remember. <laughs> right. yeah. We'll get to that. The most amazing thing is you can actually read it. You can make it out. You can make it out. Most of my books. Uh, what, what was on the next page? <laughs> L Tripp. That's unreadable. <laughs> That's unreadable. Yeah. M Drudge. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I mean, do you do you do do you keep up with Matt Drudge? I mean, you you especially had a relationship with him. No, I did not have a relationship. Well, you, there was there was a synergy. The there was a synergy there between the two of you. Barely ever talked to the guy. No, but, but, uh, but 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 lest anybody f forget uh, back then, and I yeah. don't think they would. It was Matt Drudge, who really nobody had heard of to speak of, who picked up your story that had been spiked about yeah. Monica, right? That's true. That's yeah. true. That's and true. and and. Uh, are you are you surprised what he's achieved in the time since then? I, you know, I, I think for, as a pure uh, American business story, it's I mean he's you know um, he's pretty significant. He's a significant figure. I mean he sort of you know was a, is a pioneer in in, um, in the internet and the web. Um, what about so as a I'm journalism not, story? Well, yeah, he's, I mean, he's he's clearly had an impact. I think he's driven a lot of things. He was he, he was a sort of pioneer in in uh, uh, aggregating, which is sort of a big part of what web, you know web blogs do. Mm -hmm. um, so in that yeah. sense, I mean, you know, I mean, giving the devil. Yeah, but what about but, but, but he, yeah, yeah. He, he also provided a escape hatch for stories that were not ready to be published yet. That's true. Um, okay, so that you know, I, I, I think everybody has to, you know, uh, in newsrooms now, you know, have in the back of their head, um, well, if we don't go with this story, if we don't think it's fully baked, um, that somebody, maybe even the reporter, him or herself, right. yeah. will leak it, if not to judge, to anybody else now. Yeah. There's something in post, I, I think there are other sites. I mean, you know, so I, you know, it, 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 it is a, in, bef in days, Prior to this, I think the gatekeepers felt more secure in their ability to keep gates shut, you know, for both good and bad reasons. I mean, there's sometimes a good reason right. to keep a gate shut because you don't have the, that, all the that's facts. That's quite down. a lot of power yeah. for one man to have, though. Well, isn't the it? power is not just his any longer. I mean, he, no. he, it he starts he, with yeah, him. He created think. a model yeah. by you know now other people use mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, the internet, you know, which, which anybody can be a publisher uh, with a push of a button, means that newsrooms are not the um, sac sacrosanct places they once were, and that has both an upside and a downside. Do you think we'd be surprised by his sources? Uh, Matt Drudge sources? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, you usually can tell, it's usually pretty evident which <laughs> camp is putting out what story to him. But most, listen, 90% of his business is what Mike said. It's aggregating, yeah. taking stories that are already out there and saying, hey, look at this. Yeah. That's not journalism. It's not doing the legwork. And then he does get tips 
you know, from time to time. I think right. fewer than he used to yeah, because there are more outlets say, now. If I, can, I, I say he's much less of a factor yes. than he was five years ago. Uh, I think he's, you know, I, mean, I think he's lost a little bit of his edge. But I think that the, 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 the point you're making about, you know, uh, stories getting prematurely out there have much less to do with him today than with just the evolution of the media where everybody's yeah. got a website, right. everybody is looking at, you know, we're in this constant 24-7 well, you have, well, news David's cycle. a good example. Yeah. And, David and has his own website. The, the, the pressure to get something out there, it's not going to hold, is constant throughout the news media for, right. for reasons irrelevant to Drudge now. It's just right. the, the nature of what the media looks like. Well, there are, you know, there, you know, there are two sort of pressures going on. One is what you yeah. mentioned. Everybody's been turned into a daily reporter with yeah. daily or hourly deadlines. As, as Bureau Chief, Washington Bureau Chief of Mother Jones, mm -hmm. I work for a bi-monthly magazine. But as the Washington Bureau Chief of MotherJones.com, you know, I work for a website it's that, that 24 has... That's 24-7. That's 24-7. Every day you have to think about, okay, what's fresh? And, it, you know, it creates a tension and within our own, organization. And your own and web page own blog, is the same. Right. which is part of CQ. And you just yeah. always have to be putting things out there. And sometimes we say, oh, is this a story that can wait for two months to make it into the magazine? Something has to go out there now. And at the same time, you know, you're, comp and you're competing with everybody now. Time used to just compete with Newsweek and, uh, and U.S. News and World Report and a couple of big daily papers. Right. But now any website can come along with a story that, you know, that you or I might be working on and just post it up. And then even if they only have a readership of five, 7,000 viewers a day, if it gets linked to by Drudge, Huffington, or whatever, mm -hmm. it's out there and you've lost the story. So you're always thinking, you know, my goodness, can, you know, can I afford to sit on this? Who else knows this? And in old days, there was almost always somebody else. You got a source who told you something, but you figured, well, if they're not talking to time, who else are they going to tell? Now if they tell their sister or cousin, that person can put yeah. it up on their blog site, and you, you, you've lost the scoop. Do you think Dredge is still driven by a, a right-wing sort of agenda, which was always sort of the rap on him? Well, I think less so. I mean, less when he so. first started out... Um, he and I had some, you know, scuffles and, and cable news shows, and we've made our accommodations Major with one another. But I, but I think, you know, if you look at now, 90% of it is aggregation, which he takes in the Times or the Post, or he tells you where the latest earthquake yeah. was, what the Hollywood box office results were. a little were. early. <laughs> yeah, little and, early and, and, and those are not so ideological. Uh, I think, you know, given what's happening now with, with, with politics, yeah. you know, we're, 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 I think we're somehow in a, in a less ideological period at the moment and I think as a business endeavor he's found that it's better to be have a wider framework than a narrow framework. It's definitely a business success I'll grant you that. It's interesting you know you google the two of you and um, and together? You know, sometimes I try that well you do you do have your moments together and your moments apart but what comes up often is left-leaning journalists what do you make of that? Um, well, let's see, the left-leading journalist to my right here. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, look, I, I'm surprised because, you know, it used to be, you know, right-leading yeah, journalist. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm, I am completely, you know, non-ideological. I really am. I don't think in those terms. I have strong opinions, uh, but they are totally ad hoc depending on what the story, what the story is, is. And it cuts across all lines. So um, I'm not... Um, you have a harder uh, time running from that monitor. Well, I don't run from it. No, I mean, I mean run. No, 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 run, no, 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 run from no. it's the wrong... I am a left-leaning journalist, yeah. but, I, but the key okay. phrase there is journalist. Yeah. Not left-leaning columnist, not yeah. left-leaning hack. And uh, <laughs> some might beg to differ. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, I, you know, I, I have you know, less patience with the, with the notion of objective journalism because I think all journalists... You know, by virtue of what they even decide to write about, yeah. are making you know decisions that have value you right. know, components to them. Mm -hmm. And um, I, you know, if you work for the Nation magazine or Mother Jones, or you work for the Weekly Standard, you know, you're basically saying what your what values are driving you. But I think within that context, if you have a, a, an adherence to mm -hmm. accuracy and, and fairness. Uh, that that sh uh, shows, and you stand out as a journalist in, in that fashion. So, I mean, I think, you know, having done this for over two decades now, I, 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 I hope my reputation is, regardless of my, of my politics... Journalist first, you know, politics people second. People see me as, as a journalist who, yeah. you know, breaks stories, you know, Th that, that have impact on the right and the left.